you guys. Ugh, this is, I don't like this. Where? There it goes. It's a little better. Day nine, guys. Day nine of the 14 day liquid pre op diet. Um, I am not gonna lie. I mean, I haven't. I, why would you think I would? Um, there, like I, like I said before, nighttime is the roughest. Absolutely the roughest. Um, so I told you about crying about pizza last week. Um, yesterday, two nights ago, I had to hide out in the bedroom while my family ate dinner. Sorry guys, I keep moving my desk. Um, they were having pasta, meatballs, and garlic bread. Uh, maybe a salad? I don't know. I was hiding in the room. But I'll tell you what I smelled, and that was pasta, meatballs, and garlic bread. Um, so that was rough. Like, oh, like, the one piece of garlic bread gonna kill me. And like, normally, if this was like a regular, like, I saw fat, sick, and nearly dead. I'm gonna juice for a month. And da, 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 da. Like, I absolutely would have keep right now. Like, which is funny because I did do that. I did juice for like two weeks without caving, but it was a little different. Like, there was a lot more flavor variety in that than what I have with this diet. And, um, like, there weren't any maxes, like, and anything like that. It was like, hey, when you want it, drink it make it drink it awesome cool so that made it way better um and it wasn't it was natural sweetness from the food because it was real food it wasn't this artificial sweetness from these damn protein shakes and the uh, the film the film they leave on my tongue i want to s just chop my tongue off after eating them at this point like i am so fucking over it oh my god uh, i cannot wait like I'm not gonna say I'm gonna swear off protein shakes after this because I know that is not my lifestyle like it is 11 o'clock in the morning I started work and woke up like seven like woke up a little bit before and I started work you know all, and so I've been up for four hours and have not had anything to eat um and like maybe two sips of water like this is what my normal is only I would at least have had coffee in my system by now which I do not right now so um, yeah, um, so I'm not going to say I'm going to swear off protein shakes, but, oh my God, this is rough. Um, I just today, and I think part of the reason I didn't, I haven't had anything is because I had to make my shakes for the day because last night I just, I did not have the energy and I was like, no, screw it, no. Um, and so that's why like meal planning is like super and like meal prep is like super important for me to eat breakfast, eat lunch, not live off coffee, all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, hold on one sec. Okay, I'm back. So where was I? I need some meal prep, prep and meal plan and protein drink may be a part of that. Um, it may not be like the shakes themselves. It might be protein pudding or like the protein bakes that you see on TikTok and everything. Like I have been trying to go to the bariatric community to like for motivation and support. But dear Lord, right now I don't need all those recipes because, oh, they make me bad. <laughs> so, yeah. <sighs> Which is so funny, my feed is just filled with recipes. Even my non-bariatric feed is filled with recipes because I'm always looking for new recipes to try. So it's just very, I did this to myself, like, oh my god, like, oh. so. We've made our shakes for the day. I have two in front of me because I might take two right now. Yeah, so. Um, I only made vanilla. The chocolate has been really, like, giving me that film more so. And I am leaning more toward just drinking the vanilla right now. So that's what I'm, I'm just going to do that. So that's what I want to do. So I'm going to do it. Whatever gets me through this, bitches. It's, it's the name of the game. So, um, tonight we have 
this uh, after work. Immediately after work, we have book club. Yay. Um, and then tonight is an in-person support group. And I haven't been to one yet um, because my husband's work schedule. And it was also just like, oh, like I was like still so far out. I was like, oh, I'll just do the online ones, yada, yada, yada. Um, but there's not the after meeting hangout that can happen with the Zooms. So I'm going to go tonight and hopefully like, I don't know what, I just need connections, any in-person connections. Maybe I'll find another surgery twin. I don't know, but I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to people today after work. So, you know, we're going to put some people in clothes on. Get my uh, my house hoodie off. <laughs> um, but it's fucking cold. <sighs> the real feel right now is like 12 degrees. And, it, uh, and the high today is 24. So the real feel is half of what the, the temperature is. So that's, that's great. Um, the low is like 12 today, I think. Oh, the lowest of 14, so that's probably going to be a real feel of like 7 if I'm lucky. So, we are we're making it through. I am, uh, like in the beginning of this, like the first like maybe like 5 days, I was too tired to have any anxiety over the surgery. Um, but now my body is adjusting and everything. I've been making sure to get my electrolytes in and everything. Oh, by the way, I tried, um, protein jello where you put, where you go to make jello like the right way, but in the cold water, you put unflavored, um, protein mix. It still tasted like jello, which is awesome, but I'm not a jello fan. So meh, but I tried it because I might learn to like it after surgery I don't know I just uh, I was desperate yesterday I was desperate for a change um yeah so um my my husband had mentioned being off next week I'm like what do you mean next week what are you talking about and he's like your surgery I'm like flooded with anxiety like oh my god it's next week oh my god um, and then today a coworker was like, this is your last week before surgery, right? And I was too tired. Like I just like rolled out of bed and started work. You know how it is. Um, and I was like, yeah, you know, I'll be here Monday, but you know, Tuesday. And I was just like, oh my God, it's, it's fucking coming. Like, oh my God, all the nerves. So yeah. Yeah. So I feel completely unprepared. Even though I've done so many things to prepare, I feel completely unprepared. Um, so that's awesome. Yeah. So um, I've got all my other videos loaded. Um, so I have to upload them. And yeah. So if you're watching this, let me know. Um, I am getting a binder for my abdomen for post-op. And they come in like different like widths. And, like, I'm trying to figure out what's a good width. Like, I don't want to, like, too much, you know? So I might just go with, like, what they call, like, three panels. I don't know. If you have any recommendations, hit me up. Um, leave it in the comments. If it's after my surgery, that's fine. Other people will will see it. And it will still be useful. So um, that's all for now. I will check in later, hopefully after my support group. So 